Hello, and welcome to GMGT680. I'm your host and your instructor, Ron Sicker. I'll be with you for the next seven weeks. This very short tutorial video is all about how to navigate through Brightspace. Brightspace is going to be the platform that we're going to use where all the content, as well as all the Zoom meeting uh, invitations will be. So it's important that you understand Brightspace. Now, many of you understand Brightspace because you were an undergrad at St. John Fisher University. But for those of you that weren't undergraduates at St. John Fisher University and may have used another platform while you were in your school, I think this would be helpful. So please take a minute and uh, understand Brightspace. And then once you're done with Brightspace, the syllabus is loaded on Brightspace, and I'd like for you to take a look at that before our first class period. So with that, let's get started with Brightspace. We launch Brightspace through your St. John Fisher Launchpad in your Apps Dashboard. You'll see Brightspace right here. If you click on Brightspace, it's working you'll see your home page. Now, my home page, I don't know how many classes you're taking, but my home page has two classes here, 680 and 671. We're going to click on GMGT 680, and that'll take us to the home page of the course. My suggestion is as soon as you get here is to click on content, which is up here, then you'll see it's like a file manager. All of the information you need is on the left here. And then what you see is on the right. For instance, if you click on this, you'll see that there's the syllabus. If you click on this, these are the case studies that are going to be due. And then here is all of the PowerPoint material, chapters one through chapters 10 that we're going to go over. And then right here is all of the material and all of the things that has to be done in week one. These include the discussion boards as well as the video lecture. So if you click on week one, you'll see there's the discussion boards. There is the video lectures. And this is your reading for the discussion board. If you go to week two, the same thing. You'll see your discussion board you'll see your case study, and you'll see your video lecture as we move through. And that is consistent with each one of the weeks that we have all the way through the seventh week. So if we go and we click back on syllabus, all you have to do is click on this particular arrow down. You can download the syllabus and read it, or you can see the syllabus in its own window by just clicking here and you'll see the syllabus loads, the syllabus loads right here, and you can read it through there. And then to get back to where we were, click back on content here, and you'll see everything that's here. If in fact, um, I need to send you an email, I will not use the announcements. What I will do, or excuse me, if I need to, announce something. I will not use the announcements. I will send you an email. Then finally, what's also is important, now mine's going to look a little bit different than yours because I am the instructor, but if you go to other course tools right here, this is important, other course tools, and you click and you hit Zoom, and that's loading. It's still loading. These are all our Zoom meetings. Here is the meeting ID. You click here and you will be connected to the Zoom. Our synchronous sessions are on Monday night and they are Monday from 6 to 7.30. The first synchronous session is, let me, let me get out of here. The first synchronous session is Monday, May 20th at six o'clock and I look forward to seeing all of you then. 
Until that time, take care, and I'll see you on Monday, May 20th.